Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today, I'm going to continue through the Cave of Mysidia to use the Black Mask and get the Crystal Rod. So, let's go. So, we want to get to that door there, I think, or one of them down there. No, it's not that door. It's another one. I forgot. Yep, there it is. Oh, there's that drone we were told about. What do we do with him? Oh, it's a doppelganger. Okay. Now's our chance. We have to use the black mask on it, just like we were told. Hey, uh... What's that you got on your face? Huh? I'll come back for you! And he just disappears for no apparent reason. Great! Let's keep moving. Okay, there's a couple chests we want to get on this floor first, so... And that door in the lower, well, lower middle area there, lower left, uh, that's the door that takes us to the next floor, but we can't get there. Well, we can, but I want to get some chests first before going down there, so... Okay, that was just a battle with a new enemy, Mo Molbor, or short for Marborl, I'm sure. Um, they're not as dangerous as in other Final Fantasy games, at least not this one. Uh, the original Marlboro is, um, it, they can only inflict a uh, hold on you or paralyze you, so I'm not overly worried about them. Let's look at this one. It's a power cane that I already have, so let's not worry about it. Uh, all the other doors besides the one I pointed out earlier are empty rooms, so don't worry about it. So I was watching the TV Guide channel to see what was on TV the other day. You know, normal activity, so far so good. And then it hit me. There was this show coming on called Clueless the Musical. And my brain goes into overdrive trying to figure out why this is happening to me. And I can only come to one of two conclusions. Either A, I'm having a nervous breakdown, or B, this is just some dumb plug to make money. I mean, sorry ladies, but even you have to admit that's pretty insipid. A musical about the movie Clueless. I mean, not that I would know that Clueless is a bad movie, I've never watched it, but still, I mean, come on. Okay, well, enough ranting there. Uh, now there's a chest in the upper left corner and one in the lower right corner, so I wanna get uh, the upper left one first. Uh, actually, you can see the other one right there, so let's head up to the left corner first. Okay, so I've seen the movie Clueless once. My girlfriend made me watch it at the time. There was nothing better on TV. I was sick. Shut up! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't know what came over me. I always get a little excited when talking about bad, bad movies. As opposed to good, bad movies, like Big Trouble in Little China. That was a great movie. It's one of my all-time favorites part of the Bailey family collection. Okay, so let's get this chest here. And it contains an ogre axe with more monsters! So I'll be right back. Okay, that chest has contained uh, some bombs, so um, it's a very excellent place to uh, refill Furion's MP with the change spell. As, as you can see, I got him up to full MP there with that. So, good place to do that. So let's get to the next floor. through this door. What? Oh, wrong one. Sorry, there's another door I gotta get to. Not that one. Brains. Brains! Wow, life is getting pretty accurate. I just took down a group of eight undead with a multi-targeted life spell. It's at level six now. It's amazing. Just mostly old enemies here, so I'll be able to get through this area hopefully pretty fast for you guys. This is the right door. Yep, there we go. Okay. Just walk around here. Yeah, Minnie and Toad are starting to get pretty reliable nowadays, so I'll demonstrate them in probably the next area when I meet up with more new enemies. So, let's see, I think I'm supposed to go to the left here. Yeah, the right's just a dead end. Okay, let's keep going to the left then. 
just so you know, uh, brains are also very good to refill Furion's MP with the change spell, so... Sometimes they might cast it on him themselves. <laughs> oh, I love multi-targeting instant death spells. They are so good. Let's see, is there a chest in the lower right corner? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. No, that just leads to the next floor. But there is one door here that is not quite so empty. Is it door number two? Yes. A phoenix down. A silent bell that silences your enemies, I guess. And the gold needle. Yay, we can never have enough of those. Especially when we have perfect evade against cacatrices. Okay, I believe the other two rooms are empty. Yeah, they are. So uh, let's get to that door in the lower right corner then. We're almost at the end. Okay, this is getting a little dangerous. See, I was fighting a brain in the last battle, and I was trying to have Furion cast Change on it so that I could refill my MP. But the round before I got my Change spell off, he cast Change on Guy. And so when Furion cast a Change, he ended up with, like, 240 HP and no MP left. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in trouble. But fortunately, I still have some others lying around. Okay, let's get this chest, which has some the drain book and monsters! And here's a group of powerful undead. Fire will not be too useful against them, because they have a lot of HP. I'm probably just going to have, uh, yeah, let's just use fire on one of them, just in case life doesn't work. But uh, I, I've got life at a very high level, so let's watch the power of the life spell at full power! <laughs> the power at full power. <laughs> okay. Okay, here you go, Furion. Yeah! You see? It works! At full power! Ha ha ha! The undead stand no chance against me! This is why you work on the life spell for the whole game. Those guys are actually pretty annoying. Um... They can cast a uh, stun or stone, but it's actually the stun spell. Level 16 on your entire party, and they'll just wail on you after that. So, not a good idea, but fortunately we had the, the life spell going. So, let's get some more chests. Wow, I'm gaining a lot of HP here. I'll probably show you my stats either at the end of this episode or the beginning of the next one. There we go. Whew, that was a little close. Furion almost died there. That would have been bad. Okay, we get a potion. Okay, let's get the rest of these. Oh, come on. No! Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, we gotta get out of here and get to the last room with the last treasure chest. So let's go. Let's get out of here first. There we are. This is why you carry gold needles around with you, in case those great chimeras ambush you and turn your party to stone. Okay, we're almost there. I can make it. Running out of time here, but we'll get there. Make it! Yes! Okay, this room contains a drain book. The Aspel book, that's essentially the Osmo spell, which I'm going to give to Maria, and I'll probably go over all that in the next video. But most importantly, the Crystal Rod, which we will need to get into the Tower of Mysidia. So, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Next time, I will meet you outside of the Tower of Mysidia and get ready to go there. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.